the flood after a long time many people were living in the world they had become very wicked and violent it became so bad that god decided to destroy the whole world with a huge flood however god was pleased with noah he was a righteous man living among wicked people god told noah that he was going to make a big flood and he commanded noah to build a great ark god told noah to make the ark about 140 meters long 23 meters wide and 13 and 1/2 meters high noah was to build it with wood and to make three levels with many rooms a roof and a window the ark would keep noah his family and every kind of the land animal safe during the flood noah obeyed god he and his three sons built the ark just the way god had told them it took many years to build the ark because it was so big noah warned the people about the flood that was coming and told them to turn to god but they did not believe him god also commanded noah and his family to gather enough food for themselves and the animals when everything was ready god told noah it was time for him his wife his three sons and their wives to get into the ark eight people in all god sent a male and a female of every kind of animal and bird to noah so they could go into the ark and be kept safe during the flood god sent seven males and seven females of every kind of animal that could be used for sacrifices when they were all inside the ark god himself closed the door then it began to rain and rain and rain it rained for 40 days and 40 nights without stopping water also came gushing out of the earth everything in the whole world even the highest mountains was covered with water everything that lived on the dry land except the people and the animals that were in the ark perished the ark floated on the water and kept everything inside it safe from drowning after the rains stopped the ark floated on the water for 5 months and during this time the water started going down then one day the ark rested on the top of a mountain but the world was still covered with water after 3 more months the tops of the mountains were visible after 40 more days noah sent out a bird a raven to see if the water had dried up the raven flew back and forth looking for dry land but it could not find any later noah sent out a second bird a dove but it also could not find any dry land so it came back to noah a week later he sent the dove out again and it came back with an olive branch in its beak the water was going down and the plants were growing again noah waited for another week and sent out the dove a third time this time it found a place to rest and did not come back the water was drying up further two months later god said to noah you and your family and all the animals may leave the ark now have many children and grandchildren 
and fill the earth. So Noah and his family came out of the ark. After Noah got off the ark, he built an altar and sacrificed some of each kind of animal that could be used for a sacrifice. God was happy with the sacrifice and blessed Noah and his family. God said, I promise I will never again curse the ground because of the evil things that people do or destroy the world by causing a flood, even though people are sinful from the time that they are children. God then made the first rainbow as a sign of his promise. Every time the rainbow appeared in the sky, God would remember what he had promised and so would his people.